At the Faye White Show, we want to introduce you to interesting people who are so important to our LGBTQ plus community. This morning, I present to you an interview with known actor and super huge activist, B.D. Wong. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, I'm Faye What? And I'm coming to you live from Sunshine Cathedral for the Happening Out Television Network and the Faye What Show. We're here with B.D. Wong. Hey there. Ah! <laughs> All right, I'm super fangirling because you folks know that I found out that I was gay with SVU. No. All right, yes! Uh -oh. Okay? From Mariska, you From mean? From Mariska. Oh, yes, of course. So I she was. She turned you. She turned me through oh. the screen. I went to Italy and they were giving SVU in Italian. I don't know Italian, BD, but I was watching it and I was all involved. Oh, so I love it. just to have you here next to me <laughs> means so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course. So, BD, we're here and it's out for Kamala. We're here Double in Kamala. South Florida. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, a lot of us were somber and, and not knowing what the next uh, chapter looked like for LGBTQ yeah. plus down here. Yeah. I, for one, was deathly afraid. I was mm. honestly afraid. I was going to vote for Biden because that was the thing to do. Mm -hmm. But um, then this turn of events happened and the beautiful Kamala Harris is now going to be, I'm manifesting it. It's happening. She's going to be our next president. Yes, that's right. Manifest you know, it. I, no, it's already manifested. Yeah. It's already done. Okay. And so here we are out for, out for Kamala and there is an Asian American man, a gay man, and there is a Latina lesbian. Yes, that's me. And that's you. And that's, and that's me. Uh huh. Right. And our girl is going to represent us. That's and we're right. here fighting for her and making sure that that happens. You know, how does that wash over you? It is really a new feeling, right? It is like I never felt so engaged and so like energized by a person's energy and my trust that they were, would be looking out for me mm -hmm. and did not I'm, not, I'm not saying that Joe Biden didn't make me feel that no. way, but the way she um, expresses it mm -hmm. is very um, contagious. And I have, I'm, I'm a San Francisco boy. I grew up in the Bay Area and, and she's got a Bay Area roots. and. And so her presence in my life as a Bay Area person is 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 installed in me. And so I'm um, really a big supporter of hers. Mm -hmm. And to to feel like um, she'll take care of all the things that I'm worried about. It's 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 very encouraging. It's just um, I don't know. I just feel very positive about it. In yeah. general. And you feel like that resurrection of energy like yeah. with Kamala and with walls and like I see young people that are super excited yeah. you know young folks that were thinking LGBTQ plus young folks yeah for a hot minute I was kind of sad that the young people couldn't just go with Joe and like get with it and like do it but this is what they needed yes and it happened so gracefully and Joe plays a huge part um in you know President Biden plays a huge part in in, in making that so graceful mm -hmm. so for all of us to accept and to be embrace. And I, I just think it's great. I think it's an amazing time to be alive. It really is. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ashamed to say that I wasn't really into politics until Trump got into office, yes. right? I was one of those lesbians just kind of just going with the flow, right? Then all of a sudden it was, I had to get on board. Yeah, I had yeah, to yeah. fight, right? We had to get him out of the White House. The DNC was my, like my telenovela. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, I was stuck. Yes, like oh, I me was too. watching the whole thing. Yes. I, I had popcorn. I was yeah. like, nobody bother me. I'm watching DNC. Yeah. Like, that was the, the feeling that I felt. And so I fell in love with Doug. All yes, right. Like, uh -huh. then and there, Doug, Kamala's <laughs> husband, I fell in love with him. He told them about, he told everybody about their anniversary story yeah. and about how he was corny, like all of us the first day. <laughs> I mean, hello, Kamala's gorgeous. I would be like, ugh, ugh, it's very hot. You know, I can totally see that. And so, but he's so personable yeah. and he makes you fall in love with him. Yeah. Then I see the video with you and him <laughs> right? and I'm cracking up. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the video and how that came oh, up. Oh, but it was very fast and furious. It was, it was an, an event, you know, because I'm being sent out to all these events and this was a wonderful event that he happened to be at. And so there was a big deal they made out of us meeting and then us making this content for, you know, by Instagram and, and his Instagram. And really, I don't even know him that well. But, you know, I just kind of got a crash course in Doug and in, in, in the warmth of his energy and his um, his his uh, I don't know, positive energy. Yes, his positive energy. Yeah. And it went so perfectly yes. with you. It just <laughs> went so my, perfectly. my questionable energy. Your questionable, queer, beautiful <laughs> yes. energy. Okay, thanks. OK, yes. it's not questionable. It's queer and fabulous. Like, it I'm, is. Yeah. As being allowed. Yeah. Um, BD, how important are our allies right now? So, oh, well, then, and that's a very good segue because uh, um, Doug is the ultimate ally. He really is, you know? right? He's an ally for his wife. 
who is running for president. You know, she's not um, a queer person, but but, you know, just a, a, um, a representative and a spokesperson for her and, yeah. and it speaks. For, and so you realize the importance of that. You realize how important it is for us to have these people who are have our backs and are speaking out for us and who um, matter and who can infect other people with that same energy. So of course it's it's super important. I, and that's why I came to Fort Lauderdale to talk to the the crowd here today to encourage people to um, step outside of their comfort zone and meet people and talk t tough talk with them yeah. about this election and about Trump and about um, why they're voting for uh, Kamala Harris and 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 I think that's super important. Um, so we're all kind of allies for Kamala Harris. Actually. We are. We really are. Yeah. And I wouldn't have any other, any other way. No. I love it. Yeah. You're from San Francisco and you have the Castro. Well, here we have yeah. Wilton Manners. Have yeah, you been, have, are you going to cruise by before I you have leave? Heard, I have heard you that. You have to leave. Mm -hmm. Cruise by. Go by Eagle. If I, if I do, I'll don't never know. leave. I'll never leave. If I, if I, if I cruise by Wilton Manners, I'm never going to leave. Right. Well, we're keeping I'll get beating. swallowed we're up. We're keeping Beatty. I'm the sorry. Eagle. We're keeping him. Swallowed yeah. or loved. However <laughs> you want to see it. It's Faye what with Beatty Wong. Faye what? Like that. Yes, he did it. He did it. He did it. Out for Kamala, make sure that you cast your vote.